Let me tell you about Rico Harbor. Better yet, let me show you. Rico Harbor, not to be confused with Rico's Pizza or Rico from Hannah Montana. Rico Harbor is the industrial destination of Super Mario Sunshine. In full disclosure, probably one of my least favorite worlds in the game. I'm all for an industrial theme world, but I find this world annoying as fuck. Let's take episode 3 Sunshine for example. At first it's kind of fun riding these moving poles and climbing up this metal structure to get to the cage Sunshine. That is, until you fall off and into the water and have to once again climb and maneuver to the top of the structure. And whether it's the controls, bloopers shooting ink, these crab type things, or these fierce wind gusts, it's very easy to fall off. I don't care if this is supposed to be a challenge, it's annoying if you have to keep doing it. And sure, you can argue, maybe you just don't suck, but I like to suck. Episode 7 is equally as annoying, since now you have to run around this fucking structure chasing after Shadow Mario and attempt to spray him to his knees. But to be fair, every episode where you have to chase after Shadow Mario is annoying. But the most annoying sunshine to collect is the one that involves Yoshi. I'm just not a fan of using Yoshi in this game. The controls always felt so wonky to me. And I'm sick and tired of meeting his fucking fruit demands. In episode 8, you must use Yoshi to make your way to this high above crate in the harbor and it involves spraying juice at jumping fish to turn them into platforms. But it's very easy to over jump or not jump high enough onto these platforms. And if you don't make the jump, it's into the water. And once again, you find yourself collecting a sunshine where you might have to make multiple tedious attempts. Again, it's a challenge. But what really turns me off about Rico Harbor is the animal abuse you're forced to perform. In episode one, you must fight Blooper. And in order to beat him, you have to rip off his tentacles. That's fucked up. What really gets me is when you have to pull on the cork from his nose. Or maybe the cork is his nose. But you must pull his nose, and it's in this moment you hear the sheiks in pain of poor Blooper. And you're forced to perform this cruelty again in episode 5. But now that I got the negatives out of the way, let's discuss the positives of this world. I'm just kidding. There are actually things I do enjoy about this world. Like in episode 2 where you need to race on a blooper to beat a certain time. Or in episode 6 where you must surf on a blooper to collect red coins throughout the harbor. This might be the only red coin sunshine I actually enjoy collecting. With the exception of Jinko, of course. This song is such a banger. And of course, there's the secret sunshine in episode 4. But to be fair, I love all the secret sunshine levels. They really are a test of your skill set, but also fun to play. So I don't mind if I have to attempt this level multiple times. Okay, so that's Rico Harbor. An industrial level with annoying sunshines to collect, but also some fun sunshines to collect. The perfect mixture for a mediocre level. And when you really think about it... Union, which explodes the oh, okay. Well, with that said, I give Rico's Harbor a C.